This is a gin, so uh, we have practiced doing square lashings, uh, frapping, so that is essentially using rope to uh, create different sort of holes. And uh, this gin, for example, that we've made would be used to cross obstacles. So for example, if you make one, one side of river, one the other, and then you can move things across uh, in between. What are you doing here, Fran? Tensioning the rope so that um, it's a tight lashing. What kind of lashing is it? It's a square lashing. We are learning how to set up a trip flare. So what we've done here is chosen a passage that people might be patrolling through and um, set it up on either side and then um, pulled this as tight as possible. And then that is, is essentially connected to um, a safety pin. Um, it all ties up nice and tight. And then once the safety pin comes out, uh, this little ledge should then be tripped whenever it uh, is um, is pulled from this direction. There you go. So uh, that's a trip flare. The worst part of today, I would say, uh, generally on this course, we're on our feet quite a lot. Uh, so if you've got an office job or if you're someone who maybe isn't as active during the day, um, it's a bit of a shock maybe coming to here and just being on your feet all day, being outside all day. Um, especially we're here in December, it's quite cold um, most of the time. So if you're not used to that, then that can be a bit strenuous. But Honestly, I would say that it's just really nice to be outside all the time. Uh, we're always carrying our day sacks with everything we need. So, you know, usually we've got all of our pack, things packed for the day and um, we're all squared away. So I wouldn't say that it's strenuous per se, but if you're not used to it, you know, that might be uh, a negative. I would say the best part of today has been learning how to do a trip flare. Um, it, they're things we see all the time uh, in terms of like movies and, uh, you know, we hear about them uh, in terms of what the army do with them but I've never learned really how they work. So that was my favorite part of today. Okay, is there any difference in terms of being a woman on the course today? Um, definitely not. Uh, we put up the gin that I described earlier and everyone had a part to play in that. So whether that's doing the square lashings around each of the, um, each of the sides or whether it's lifting them up, someone has to hold them in place. We all played a part with that today. So I'd say absolutely no difference in terms of being a woman.